Hey, everybody, you're watching Sit Down. I'm DJ Six Minutes. Charmaine Walker's here with us. Black Ink Crew, you know her from the Chicago group. We're all over the country now on VH1. Charmaine, what's up? Nice to meet you. What's going on? How you doing? I'm great. Listen, it's been really cool to see your journey with this show, just the expansion of the show, and there's a ton of great stuff coming up. So what should people be most excited about if they follow the show, or if they're just tuning in, you know, what's coming up right now? Well, um, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Charmaine from Black and Crew Chicago, and we have not been on TV over the past year because of the pandemic. So we are finally coming back on your television screens. It's about to go down with five specials. We have five specials. That's a lot of specials, you know? <laughs> That's, That's a lot. Special. Yeah, but that's how much content that we have, um, you know, that we've gathered over the past year. So I'm so excited. We're kicking things off with a two part special called Secrets Unlocked. And it's the first time that all three of, of the cities are together at the same time. So that's airing Monday the 15th. And also the second part is airing Monday the 22nd, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. My girl Eva Marcel is the host. And it's, it, it's called Secrets Unlocked for a reason. That's because we are unlocking all the Black Ink secrets. Um, and that's just kicking off the specials. We also have another special called Black Ink Crew Confessions. Um, that's with Chicago, New York, and Compton. And Mark Lamont is hosting that. So it's real fancy. Um, that's our first like real reunion. Um, and that's going down on March 29th, starting on March 29th. Like I said, it's three different cities. 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central Time, so. Love it. So there's a ton of stuff to look forward to. You just mentioned that you haven't been on TV for a year. So what has that been like for you after doing it for so many years? Oh, my goodness. It's honestly been so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I have been just being been able to really be the best mom I can be. Um, I didn't have any other distractions or anything, any other responsibilities, it was all about my my new baby girl. So um, this past year has been amazing. She's about to turn a year. I literally gave birth to her right when the pandemic, like the day the pandemic started was when I was giving labor. So one year pandemic anniversary is also my child's uh, birthday. <laughs> but, but I've been able to just spend this time with her and it's been amazing. But at the same time, I am grateful for this time off because, you know, when you're working all the time, you can become a little like, not to say like ungrateful, but, you know, and now that I haven't been on TV in a year, like I'm really excited to get back out there. I'm really excited to um, get, you know, more content for our viewers to watch and I'm really ready to connect with everybody again so I kind of needed this time off well it certainly came at a good time and congratulations on having a kid that's amazing news and, and listen <laughs> your daughter is going to have an incredible role model you've done some amazing things in your career when you think about the beginning of this whole journey how did you get into it how did it all start for you so it all started, uh, I was working at Groupon at the time <laughs> and Groupon, the environment over there was really chill, right? So you can, everybody heard about the Groupon corporate America environment that you can like wear your pajamas to work and drink beer all day and stuff like that. So because of that environment, it allowed me to really be able to turn up after work and cause I could go to work like hungover and like most likely my manager was hungover too. <laughs> um, so I would rush to nine mag, the tattoo shop. Um, and Ryan would be there with Hennessy and just everything ready to go. And we turned up really crazy for two years straight. And next thing you know, black ink was reaching out asking if they can film a pilot. And we, Got it. We got the show. And it's just been crazy ever since. You know, now we're on our seventh season or we're going to be filming our seventh season. Um, and it's just a blessing. It's a huge blessing. The fact that we're able to film all these specials and people are so excited about it. Um, you know, the fact that we're all still very much relevant. Um, you know, you, you, you never know what's going to happen to, to people. And the fact that we're all still here is just, it's awesome. 
I think what's also super interesting is that the tattoo industry is as popular as it's ever been, right? It brings in all different people. It doesn't matter who you are, where you've been, people- Where you're from. Where you're from, exactly. So what sticks out to you the most just about the growth of the industry during these seven seasons when you've done all the shows? The growth of the industry has been tremendous. Um, You know, tattooing not too long ago used to be something that you would get done in someone's basement. And now, you know, for instance, my shop, Second City Inc., you, I have to make sure that I'm up to date with the city. <laughs> you know, I have to make sure that I'm meeting all the codes and, or they'll shut me down. You know, they, they're coming in and they're inspecting the shop and they're making sure that everything is how it's supposed to be, that this is how a tattoo shop is supposed to be ran. So, um, Things have changed drastic, drastically over the past years with tattooing, um, but now I would say it's safer than ever, especially especially with something like the pandemic um, happening. You know, it really but gave us the idea that like, wow, we even though people were washing their, their hands and being safe before, it's like, okay, wow, I really need to make sure that we sanitize and like do these things. So we were already sanitizing before, but now, now you as the customer, you're coming in also making sure that, you know, this is a sanitized experience, you know? So that's just how things have worked during the pandemic, but it's been cool. Yeah. There's a lot that goes into it. And I would imagine too, there's a lot that goes into having your own shop after being at somebody else's shop. So what have been the biggest challenges of growing your own business and having your own spot? The biggest challenges of growing my own business is definitely, like I just mentioned, just making sure you're on top of everything when it comes to paperwork. Um, You know, a client comes in to get a tattoo. You got to make sure that they sign that consent form. You have to make sure that they read it, that they understand it, that they know what care to do at home um, with their tattoo in order for it not to be infected and things like that. Um, And even, like I said, just the paperwork staying up to date with the city, like Chicago, the city of Chicago does not play. And especially because my tattoo shop is on TV, they're watching too. Mm -hmm. So there, there can't be things going on on TV in the shop that are not supposed to be going on off TV in the shop. Um, So those are the things that are just really hard. Like, you know, you might want to turn up in the shop, but you can't have you can't be drinking open bottles of containers, you know, because we are tattooing and there's particles floating around, you know, it's just not safe. So it's just so hard trying to um, enforce rules on people and also just making sure that you stay in the clear, you know, it's all about me staying in the clear. It's not about you wanting to turn up during your tattoo. (laughs) It's all about, it's all about if the city came in right now to do an inspection are we passing (laughs) so um you know that's the hardest part but that just comes with being a boss listen you still have a good time regardless of the rules and regulation and chicago is an amazing spot and you know people watch it in compton new york but chicago is special so what does it mean to you to have the windy city as the backdrop for your work and this show here it means everything. My mom's from Chicago and Chicago has really just completely adopted me into this city. Um, you know, I'm on the radio here in Chicago, iHeartRadio, WGCI. And it's just, you know, I feel like this is my city. This is where I was destined to be. So for us to have a successful reality show here in Chicago that and we're representing the city, I mean, it it doesn't get any better. And we're the only reality show that has made it past like season one or two um, based out of Chicago. So the fact that we're about to be filming our seventh season, it's just like, wow. And the city respects us. And we know that we are like putting on for the city. When people are watching, we know that we putting on for the city and the city knows that too. So it's, it's great. Well, you do a great job with that. Charmaine, congratulations on everything and looking forward to all the specials coming up. Thank you so much.